Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the default settings of SC05 and SC06 Bluetooth module using USB to TTL device. So let's get started. Guys, we need this because unlike Arduino, in the PIC, we don't have a serial monitor that feature. So you have to connect a USB to TTL device with the module to change the settings. So let me show you how to do that. So guys, uh, by default, these are the setting name is IC05, border is 9600, password is 1234, default mode is the data mode. We have two modes, one is a command mode, other one is the data mode. Data mode is the normal operation, operation mode, while command mode is the one in which we can change the settings. If we enter the command mode, then we can change the device name, border, password, etc., whatever we want. And by default, there is another option is on, which is auto pairing to last unknown device, the last known device. It means that whenever uh, the last connected device will appear, it will auto connect to that device. So you have to be careful about this in the default mode. In I made two previous videos, one how to make a car with the SC05 and another video I showed you how to use this modules just by turning on LEDs. So we use the default settings in those. Now I will tell you how to change the settings. So guys, in the command mode, only the difference is the board head is 38400. See? Now, whenever you will enter the command mode by uh, putting the enable pin or either in, there are two different types of SC05 in the market right now. One, uh, there is an enable pin, in another one, there is a key pin. Both do the same. So, you have to put the key or enable pin high to enter the command mode. And once you are in the command mode, then the board rate is 38,400. Now, you have to switch the board rate of your serial monitor to this. Then you can send the AT command for changing settings. Now, guys, let me show you how to connect it. Uh, on the right side, we have IC05 and on the left, we have our USB to TTL device. You can use any available USB to TTL device in the market. You can use CS340, FT232, CP102, whatever they call it. You can use any USB to TTL device. I'm going to use the CS340 or FT232. They both have the same pin configuration. So guys, uh, you will not need the jumper. You just remove this jumper yourself. It is not needed here. So let me label the SC05 module on the right side. As you can see, if the button is at the bottom, in some modules there is no button. The top one is a state pin. Then you have RX. On the back side, they are labeled as well, but I am still going to label them for you. State, then we have RX, then TX, then ground, then VCC, then the enable pin. Enable pin. Now this pin, that is the enable pin, is responsible for switching the mode. In some modules, it's named as the key pin. In some, as chip select. But I had seen the SC05 and 6 modules, it is either the key or the enable pin. So whenever you will connect this enable pin to the high of your, uh, you will give a high to this, like you will give 5 volt to this, then your module will be in the command mode. Now you can send 80 commands to change the settings. Now for the USB to TTL device on the left, it is already labeled. I am still going to label it for you. Top pin is the ground, then we have RX, TX, 3.3 volt, VCC and the 5 volt pin. Now guys, let's do the connections. You connect the RX pin of your USB to TTL device directly with the TX pin of your SC05 module or SC06 module. Then the TX pin of your USB will go to the RX pin of your SC05 module like this. As simple as that, TX to RX, RX to TX. Then guys, ground goes to the ground, VCC goes to the VCC. Now this pin, 5 volt will go to the enable. Now this is very important. Now at this point, your Bluetooth is acting in the normal mode, but as soon as you connect the 5 volt pin with the enable pin, then now your module is in the AT command mode. Now this enable pin or the key pin is high. Now you can send the AT command to change the setting, but it will not work as normal because now it's in the setting mode. As soon as you remove the wire and restart the module, then it's like this. You have to just uh, uh, put off these two wires to reset it. Then you again enter it is now in the AT command mode. Now it's in normal mode. So once you remove the VCC and reconnect it, now whatever the settings you have done, now they are done. So let's get to the serial monitor and also I will introduce you to the hardware. Now guys, here you can see this is our SC05 module. It's on and this is connected to the computer. This is the enable pin on the top orange one and it is connected. So it means that it's right now in the uh, command mode. So we can send the commands to do the settings. And this is the mobile phone here, which I will use to show you what are the settings now. Now we will change the default settings for that purpose. You can use any USB to serial monitor like Termite, Putty or serial monitor. Any of these you have, you can use them. I'm going to use this Micro C for PIX, USART terminal. 
In the micro C, you also have a USRT terminal. I will use that. Go to tools. There is this USRT terminal. You can also press a control T to open it. So open it up. Refresh the COM ports. Now, whichever the COM port is, you had connected your uh, device, USB device, select it. Now, set the border to 38,400. Now, that's the difference. In the normal mode, by default, board is 9600, but in the AT command mode, it's 38,400. Click on it. Click on connect. It's connected. Now, let's get to the AT commands page. I will share this PDF file to you in the description of this video. I will share you a link or I will share the link, this link here. I will share this link in the description. Now, here for the testing function, it says that send AT. When you will send AT, the module should respond, okay, if this is successfully connected. Copy this AT. Go back to your terminal. Okay, it's already there. Just click on send. Okay, we received an okay. So, that's fine. This means it's good. Now, we go back. Now, the next one is the AT plus reset. This is used to reset all the settings to the original setting. In case you had messed up the settings, then this is a great command. Let's get back and place the AT plus reset here. Remember that there should be no space. If there is a space, it will give error. See, I send with a space. See, we get an error. Now, I give no space. Now, it's okay. Now, it's reset to the default settings. Again, go back. Now, here, guys, uh, we have AT plus version. Let's uh, select the version here. Okay, 80 plus version question mark. There should be no space between any character. See, it shows its version. Now, guys, the next thing is 80 plus restore default status. Okay, we also try this. What happens? Because it's a new module, we can play with it. See, it says okay, that's fine. Now it's at default status. Okay, that is for the address. Now, what we do is that we change the name. Now, this command over here will inquire the name, whatever the name is, 80 plus name. I send this command and see what happens because this is not a new module that I have. There might be someone already had changed the name. I click on send. So it's a new module basically. It's a new setting or we had just reset the settings. HC05 is a default name. See, we got here. Now we change it to something else. Now to change it, use this command 80 plus name equals to whatever the name you write will be set. Now here 80 plus name. Now change this to whatever the name you want. I write it learning microcontrollers like this now this is the new name send okay it sets it's okay we again set it now again we check the name you use this command again 80 plus name equals to question mark send okay see it shows our new name is learning microcontrollers now we change the password now go down and move to the password command 80 plus password here first inquire the original password whatever is the original password here it says default is one two three four i don't know mine is at the default setting or not i have just taken this module out of a draw so let's see what it gives so okay it gave an error see there is a space here there should be no space see one two three four so it's in the default set we have a password one two three four now let's get back we change the password as well to change the password you have to send this command 80 plus password equals to whatever the password you write will be set. But remember that for password, we have character limit like it's 8 or 10. I think it's 8. So you should be careful. So I write just learn. Now this is the new password. I send. Okay. The password is set. It says okay. Now we inquire the password using the previous command 80 plus PSWD question mark. Now see the new password is learn. It's set. Now to change the border of the normal mode go down there must be another command okay this is the command here border these are the borders uh, we inquire the border first whatever the border is okay whatever the border is 80 plus uart so it's 9600 and now this is the here you can see that it says uh, one stop bed, parity, other stuff. So these two represent those. So it's 9600. And uh, the settings are like none, no parity and no flow control. No parity, no flow control. That's what we need. So I'm not going to change the border. Border is fine. So now let's uh, reset the module and check either the setting has changed or not. So to reset the module, you simply have to do is that either you disconnect it 
and connect it again that's fine but you have to remove this pin unable you have to put it off so i remove the unable pin now it's in the normal mode no longer in the data mode and also to reset it you just put off the power pin and you put it on now it's reset as well now it has restarted so the new settings are saved now now we go to our mobile phone and see do the setting really change our new name and password should be there see this is the phone here i go to the play store so this is the play store and just write sc05 you will get a lot of options here sc05 see the first one over here this app okay let me lower down the brightness okay now that's better okay the first one that you have is this serial terminal monitor this one install it which are, you can install any you can get to get it from the google as well it's not necessary you go to the play store all do the same you all you need is a serial monitor uh, click on open okay it's opened now uh, see that in the uh, left you have this and then go to the devices no device is showing up because the bluetooth is off let me turn on the bluetooth so bluetooth is on now so refresh okay give it the permission okay let it search so you can see guys uh, it's showing up as learn learning microcontroller that is the name we set now we check the password okay check here it's learning microcontrollers okay i touch it see it's connecting to learning microcontroller it's connected so let me show you the change in password as well go to bluetooth here you can see the devices let me forget it unpair so see it's showing up i touch it it's pairing now it's asking for the password i entered the old password 1234 see what happens okay it shows an error an error occurred during pairing okay now i entered the new password which we had changed i uh, because it's character so uh, that's capital l e a r n that's learn see this is the password we set i click okay see it's pairing okay it's paired now see it's paired successfully this is the new password so that's how you can change the settings of an sc05 and sc06 module you can see it's connected see that it's simple as that so guys that's how you can use this module with the uh, for changing its setting using a ci340 usb ttl device you can see this is the key wire or you can call it a pin if you connect it it will stop working in the normal mode see i connect it to the enable i gave the 5 volt now it will not work in this mode so you simply have to connect this here then restart and that's all that's how you can change the settings i will give you this uh, pdf file link in the description of this video if you have any question you can ask in the comment section so thank you very much for your time guys and have a nice day i am very hopeful yeah, that you guys learned something from this video that's all i need from you so have a nice day